Hello everyone. So now we are here in the section of our esophagus. Okay, uh, the organ which is related to our digestive tract. Okay, the main organ uh, from which the bolus passes from the region of your uh, that is from pharynx to the stomach. Okay, so we will be discussing first of all the this is the first part of the esophagus. Okay, in this video we will be going to discuss about the topography actually. What is the relation with respect to vertebral column that is skeletotopy and what is the relation with respect to different uh, parts of esophagus uh, with respect to different organs. So in syntopy, that is called as syntopy. Okay, so in that part we will be discussing uh, the relations. That is, what is present anterior uh, to esophagus, what is present lat lateral to that, and what is posterior, what is left side, what is right side. So first of all, esophagus. So esophagus actually. Uh, so this video will be specifically discussing topography, and in the next video we will be discussing on the actually the anatomy of the esophagus. Okay, the parts, uh, the constructions, what are the curvatures. Okay, and uh, the levels of esophagus from where it starts and where it ends. Okay, so the, for the basics, you just remember it starts from the cricoid cartilage, that is of uh, cricoid uh, cartilage, uh, lower border of cricoid cartilage, uh, where the your pharynx ends actually, and uh, uh, and, and then from there uh, that is the level of C six, and from there it ends at the level of your uh, when it pierces your diaphragm, that is esophageal hiatus at the level of your T ten vertebra. Further, it goes in the stomach. And opens in the stomach from the cardiac orifice at the level T11. Okay, so this is the course for this esophagus. Okay, and it has three parts. Just remember this basics. It has three parts: cervical part, thoracic part, and abdominal part. Cervical will be in the region of your cervical section. Then comes your thorax, so it will be present in the thoracic. And then when it reaches the uh, pierces your uh, diaphragm and reaches your abdominal area, then that part is called as uh, abdominal part of esophagus. Okay, so there will be three parts, and these parts we'll be discussing in details in our uh, next video. So in this this video just uh, uh, we'll be discussing the skeletal topic. So first of all, I have written everything here. Okay, this is just a theoretical representation for the topography. Just after discussing this in brief, we'll be uh, moving on to to the uh, video that is we'll be discussing on the diagram. Okay, just after that. So just uh, begin with the skeletal topic for this. Okay, so it has a skeletal topic from level of your C seven. Uh, vertebra that is cervical c7 or sometimes you can say c6 because your cricoid cartilage where it actually uh, starts in the lower border of cricoid cartilage is present at c6 level so some books it is written c6 and somewhere it is written c7 okay so it doesn't matter c6 or c7 and ends at the level of your t10 okay t10 where your esophagus actually uh, pierces your diaphragm that is esophageal hiatus esophageal hiatus which is an uh, opening which is present in the diaphragm. Diaphragm is just a muscular wall, the thin layer of muscular wall that protects the abdominal organs uh, from the thorax. Okay, so from there it pierces like uh, there is a hole called as esophageal hiatus. Okay, so this was a skeletal topy C7 to T10. Okay, now let's move on to the syntopy. So syntopy, you know that what is means it's a relation of different parts of esophagus with respect to different organs. So first your uh, cervical part. Okay, so in cervical part, uh, it is a short part around I can say 4 to 5 centimeter uh, total esophagus has length of your 25 centimeter okay it is a hollow muscular uh, organ okay it has length of 25 centimeter out of which around 4 to 6 centimeter is your cervical part okay now uh, this is cervical part which is of around 4 centimeter not 6 4 centimeter we can say okay out of 25 centimeter it is it includes 4 centimeter now let's see the relation in the region of your cervical part Okay, so first of all, the from the anteriorly, this uh, that is from that is uh, you consider this is the esophagus. So above this, there will be trachea. So anteriorly, we can see trachea here. Laterally, uh, on both the sides, there will be common carotid artery like this. There will be present. Okay, so laterally there will be common carotid artery. So this all these things will be uh, seeing on the diagram. Schematic representation. I will be giving everything. Okay, and just after the uh, brief discussion on this uh, theoretical portions of topography. Okay, after this video. Uh, or not after just at the end okay i will be discussing on the diagram every relation what is i will be showing everything right left okay so now posteriorly uh, there is vertebral column uh, it's clear so it is the most posterior part of esophagus after that there will be vertebral column okay and longus coli muscles all uh, muscle also you can see so from left and right side there is carotid artery but specifically on the left side you can see uh, thoracic duct also okay and uh, uh, you can also see recurrent laryngeal nerve on both the sides that is left and right in the cervical part okay so this much is clear okay now uh, we are uh, in the uh, thoracic part okay and in the thoracic part this is of 20 centimeter in length okay and out of 25 centimeter it contains your uh, 20 centimeter so it is further divided into sub three parts that is there will be upper uh, thoracic part upper out of three parts there will be upper and it will be in three parts that is upper middle and the lower third part of thoracic 
okay so first of all we were discussing on the upper okay this all this we will be seeing in the video so first is anteriorly what you can see in the upper third of uh, thoracic part okay like this you consider this is your actually your esophagus i am showing just a schematic representation okay so like this 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 much area is your cervical part okay now this much is your thoracic so further there will be three divisions here okay so topography for these three parts will be different okay and this lower one will be your abdominal part this much is clear so this is a scheme scheme okay so now anteriorly there will be trachea you can see trachea is just again similar as cervical trachea you can see recurrent laryngeal nerve there will be there now this recurrent laryngeal nerve will come forward okay uh, that is anterior as uh, there it was laterally that is was present common carotid was present on the right and left side now they will come in, in front of uh, this esophagus and the upper third part right there will be mediastinal pleura okay mediastinal pleura uh, the pleura which is present in your lungs from right side and left side there will be your subclavian artery okay now come on the middle third part uh, anteriorly now uh, as you go as you go uh, downwards in the thorax and now comes your heart heart's vessels now there is aortic arc which will be present anterior there will be tracheal bifurcation now trachea bifurcates uh, as you uh, go downward in the thorax you know that so there will be tracheal bifurcation into right and left bronchus okay main bronchus so there you can see right, uh, tracheal bifurcation in front of this middle uh, part of your thorax uh, thoracic esophagus posteriorly now this uh, thoracic duct which was on left side now comes to the posterior side in the middle part now right side you can see right vagus nerve which will be the main uh, branch of this abdominal organs uh, the innervation which is given by our vagus nerve so there it will be present on the right side in the middle part you can see azygous vein also okay which will be draining blood from the uh, inferior part and going and going into your right atrium okay so now this is azygous vein and uh, left side you can see descending aorta okay so this all this will be clear as soon as we will be discussing on the uh, diagram okay so just just write it down right now don't panic okay it will be all become a visual memory you don't have to memorize this it will just become an visual memory as when we will discuss on the diagram just after this now lower third part you can see pericardium now the heart will come so anteriorly uh, in front of like like this is a mid, uh, lower part of your thorax uh, that is thoracic esophagus now in the anterior side there will be pericardium that is the outer layer of your heart so uh, heart will be like this but its posterior layer is called as uh, that is fully heart is covered by pericardium so the posteriorly pericardium will be covering the uh, anteriorly pericardium will be covering the lower third of thoracic part now the left vagus nerve will come in front okay in the lower part posteriorly there again will be vertebral column right side there will be right vagus nerve uh, carrying along left you can see left vagus nerve sometime from anterior to left it will go so it will be sometimes in upper part there it will be uh, anteriorly and as this goes just lower to in this thoracic part it will become left and you can see left pleura of your left lung okay so this was a lower third part now comes your abdominal part so when it pierces your esophagus uh, there is anteriorly you can see the left lobe of liver okay after a piercing esophagus there is a one to cent one to two centimeter it is length is one to two centimeter out of 25 centimeters okay so it is very short part and anteriorly you can see left lobe of liver will be covering this is your uh, abdominal part of esophagus so anteriorly uh, there will be like this there will be lobe of liver lobe of liver left lobe of liver okay will be present now right side uh, again there will be right side full lobe of liver will be there because liver is present on the right side okay so lobe of liver will cover the esophagus and also will be present on the uh, that is on the right side okay and left side you can see spleen another organ another organ because spleen is present just parallel to your uh, liver and uh, spleen is on the left side liver is on the right side and posteriorly you can see left crus so crus because posteriorly because posteriorly there will be diaphragm diaphragm's uh, muscular layer diaphragm that is has two crus right and left crus and there will be gastric nerve okay now let's move on to the video all this will be discussing on the uh, just a, sch uh, a schematic uh, overview on the visual diagram okay let's go uh, now uh, uh, now we are here in the this we will be seeing the east topography okay east section of your uh, relation anterior and posterior uh, first of all we will have to discuss about cervical part so in this diagram uh, in this photo we will be discussing only the cervical part for the thoracic part uh, i have different photo it will be easier in that diagram so you can see in the cervical part this much area is your cervical part okay till here okay <clears throat> till your tracheal uh, bifurcation or you can see just above it just here and uh, and this one and this you can see here uh, here's your cricoid cartilage uh, from where it is beginning actually here so it's a cut section here not visible clearly just consider it is consider it now anteriorly there will trachea 
so it is actually cutted here uh, the and uh, the trachea is actually uh, has been cutted so anteriorly there will be trachea as we have discussed laterally you can see uh, two common carotid artery lateral from right and left side you can see this one and this one okay so laterally there will be common carotid artery okay now posteriorly there will be vertebral column so it is not visible here so just consider it and left side you can also see your thoracic duct here uh, this green one you can see uh, this green one okay so this green one actually is your you can see here this is your thoracic duct it is present on the left side as i have told in the theoretical part and you can also see a uh, recurrent laryngeal nerves here on both the sides you can see recurrent laryngeal nerve this yellow one you can see it is marked two arrows okay so this so this one is actually your recurrent laryngeal nerve which is present on the both the side that is right and left okay <clears throat> so this was actually your cervical parts topography okay now let's move on to the thoracic part so this is the diagram uh, for your thoracic part okay thoracic part we will be discussing in this diagram okay so first of all we have to discuss the upper third part upper third part okay in the upper third part just consider i'll be giving you one uh, levels here uh, for your easier <clears throat> okay so just consider this much area as your upper third part and this much area as your middle third and below that there will be your uh, just little here will be your lower third okay so uh, just consider it this much now let's move on to uh, let's move on to your upper third part so anteriorly you can see in the upper third part <coughs> this much area you consider anteriorly you have a trachea and you also have recurrent laryngeal now it is not shown here but uh, it will be here only okay it's not shown in diagram just consider recurrent laryngeal now this is your recurrent laryngeal now which will be also present on the anterior side in the upper third part you can see it here okay you can see it here and and on the posterior there will be vertebral column it is clear okay and right side there will be mediastinal pleura here here will be lung will be present right lung and its mediastinal portion will be present that is mediastinal pleura okay and in this part you can see on the left side is your subclavian artery you can see this red one is your uh, subclavian artery okay so uh, uh, this was the uh, thoracic part that is upper third thoracic part this much area okay i think it is clear okay i think it is clear and sometimes you can also see your thoracic duct is also present on your left side you can see it here thoracic duct is also present on the left side okay now let's move, move on to the middle part you can see this is your middle part this much area is your middle part okay now uh, in this middle part first of all anteriorly there, there will be arc of aorta it will be covering like this it is not shown but arc of aorta will be going like this uh, rounding like this okay rounding like this uh, i can uh, okay in this diagram i think it is clear huh yes so you can see in this diagram you can see in this diagram you can see this arc of aorta which is coming in front of your trachea okay in front of trachea so it will be present uh, anteriorly not trachea but tracheal bifurcation where now the arc of aorta will also present anteriorly okay so i think it is clear anteriorly arc of aorta will be there there is your this you can see it is your tracheal bifurcation will be there and you you can also see left bronchus left bronchus will also be because uh, the, there is a shift carnier angle is shifted more towards your right side so that is why this left bronchus will be covering your anterior portion in the middle third of thoracic esophagus okay i think this much is clear now a move on to our previous diagram okay so in this anteriorly we have discussed now posteriorly you can see this thoracic duct is now coming posterior so it is now behind this esophagus okay so that is why we have written posteriorly there will be thoracic duct which further will come to the right side you can see the crossing of this thoracic duct okay so uh, this much is uh, clear posteriorly right will be right vagus nerve you can see this right vagus nerve is coming this green one right vagus nerve okay and a zygous vein also be present you can see it is shown here a zygous vein cut portion of a zygous vein so right side there will be a zygous vein and your uh, right vagus nerve and left side you can see this arc of aorta will be descending now downwards so left side there will be uh, in this portion the left side there will be descending aorta you can see this it has mark, not marked but it is actually your descending aorta thoracic aorta same it has name descending aorta is also called as thoracic aorta okay so it will represent this red one so this red one is actually your th uh, red one is actually your descending aorta okay so it will present on the left side so this was a middle third of the esophagus now let's move on to the lower third so lower third i think this much below the bifurcation it will be present 
so this much will be your lower third so now anteriorly there will pericardium pericardium because uh, now the heart will be covering this much area so heart will be covering this much area so the posterior or the wall that is pericardium the wall of your heart will be present on the anterior side of esophagus and the lower third of thorax and posteriorly there will be your vertebral column here posteriorly uh, there will be vertebral column here and right side now there will be vagus nerve so vagus nerve will be uh, moving forward path uh, in will because it will reach your abdominal area so we'll going like this right vagus nerve will present on the right side in the lower third part okay and uh, on the right side uh, right side right vagus nerve will be there. left side there will be right vagus nerve so they will following their course so from left side there will be uh, left vagus nerve and from right side there will be right vagus nerve okay in the lower third part it is simple and sometimes left side there will be left plura, plura also the plura of your lungs left plura you can also see in the left side it is not shown here but just remember right and left vagus nerve will be present in the lower third part okay so this much is clear so this was the thoracic part in this diagram okay now let's move to see the abdominal part abdominal part so in the abdominal part abdominal part we have discussed there will be left lobe of liver so you can see this is the liver this is the liver and under this this you can see this your abdominal part of esophagus now and this is your diaphragm this white portion you can see uh, you are uh, able to see this white portion white portion uh, you can see this white portion is diaphragm okay this white one so uh, there is esophageal hiatus here present so this uh, you can see here it is marked abdominal part of esophagus okay so there will be esophageal hiatus here which will be piercing the diaphragm esophagus will be piercing there okay so uh, this blue line is your diaphragm and this is liver so now anteriorly you can see and it has two lobes this is left lobe and this one is right lobe right lobe is larger than left lobe so left lobe will be covering your anterior side okay and it will also covering your right side you can see if this is your right side this is your left side so right there is present lobe and it's also covering the anterior side and left side you can see spleen spleen is present here actually here is spleen so spleen will be also spleen will be present in the left side okay okay or you can see the cardiac part of stomach you can also see it can be also present according to diagram what you can see it is important than the theoretical okay what you can see visualization which you are doing on the body or uh, live cadaver or on the diagram that is actually you have to remember not on the theoretical portion because it varies in different what is the positions now posteriorly therefore left cruise of diaphragm diaphragm left cruise of diaphragm so diaphragm will be present posteriorly okay diaphragm will be present posteriorly okay diaphragm will be present posteriorly so this white card white one is actually your so white one is actually your diaphragm so it has two crews right and left crews so right side uh, crews will be covering the posterior area okay and there will be right gastric nerve okay i think this it's clear okay this is clear uh, okay so this was the three diagrams which i have shown okay so do like share and subscribe i think it was clear and just uh, memorize through the diagram don't learn or memorize or mug it up it is important to see all the things on the diagram visual memory is important okay thank you